For this episode 3, we are going to try to make it look more completed. I'm sure you guys remember the hydroponic video. I always kind of wanted to do that again. So I think that's the plan. This is actually the tabletop of the hydroponic grass field. What we're doing here is wood tabletop. This is the frame. This is a wooden panel, the tabletop. We're going to put the acrylic glass on top of it so we can see through and guinea pigs can access the grass field. For this episode 3, we are going to try to make it look more completed. So first thing we're going to do is put some varnish on the wood so that it has more finished look. The wood stain is relatively dark. Putting the wood stain did take some time because it had to have a couple coats of it to make sure that it looks pretty even. Because it's pretty dark, um, it was okay to put one layer over another. That actually made it look more completed. We actually recently purchased a new gadget. It's the saw that's for cutting like curves, but it's also pretty good for cutting straight lines. So right now we're cutting the legs and we're sending it to make sure that it's safe and looks good once the stain is on the wood. We're using the nail gun to put the legs in place. Compared to the first hydroponic video, the nailing, it's much quicker because, you know, nail gun does make it much easier than nail and hammer. And also because some of the wood is pretty soft, not not soft, but pretty thin, it does help with the nail gun. Otherwise, you might end up with a broken wood. So there's the third leg going on to the table and the final leg. Looks pretty steady now, so we're going to put some wood stain on the leg as well. Now to think about it, we should have actually glued and put the legs before we did the wood finish. I think it looks pretty good. It looks like something that we bought from IKEA. Now we're drilling holes into the smaller tray. We're just using the normal power drill to create these holes. As I mentioned in the previous video, we're going to fill up the water in the big tray and because there are holes on the bottom of the small tray, water is going to leak into the small tray, wetting the seed and then go out. Now to cutting acrylic. Actually, the acrylic part was more difficult than the rest of the project because cutting wood is something that is much easier because you're less worried about something chipping and also because you have to use the specific saw blade to cut these acrylic sheets. So as you have seen in our first video, our planning part, we are going to have three separate spaces. We actually have an experience of trying to make something with this acrylic sheet. Didn't go so well because we actually had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> this time we have an expert here, Kevin, so. The edges of the acrylic wasn't as smooth as we thought, so we're going to torch it. We're basically melting the edge and once it kind of melts and kind of hardens, it becomes more transparent. We tested the glue on the acrylic. We're using a specific glue. It's different from wood glue. It's a glue that actually melts the acrylic and then bonds it together. It's very strong, so we have to be very careful. So it seems to work, so now we're going to put the whole acrylic walls together. You need these painters tape in place so that everything is bonded vertically and perfectly. We did have a little bit of an issue where acrylic was a little bit bent, so we left the acrylic on the floor with the heavy stuff on top so that it flattens out. Now the wood stain is dry, we put the trays inside. And it's almost ready. We put the dividers. The syringe here is the glue that we're using for acrylic.
Oh, wait a second. We actually forgot to make the door entry. So I'm taking these trays out. So we were thinking about what size the door should be. We made it so that the height of the doorway is about the same as our crunch condo. And we wanted to make it pretty wide so that two guinea pigs will be able to pass through at once. Of course, it wouldn't work if Peanut decides to lie sideways, but hopefully she's nicer than that. If you guys saw our previous indoor hydroponic video that got about 1.2 million views, you've seen us use this Dremel before. The problem is this time we're using a much stronger acrylic, much thicker one, so it didn't really work. So we had to come up with another way to do it. So we are drilling a big hole in the corner. and then using the saw that we bought to connect those holes to the edge. And voila, we have the doorway. And we have a doorway for every tray. Girls will have access to one of them at any given time, while the other two are still growing. So right now, you're looking at the container below the table. This is where the water is going to go, possibly with some of the hydroponic nutrition to make the grass grow better. We're putting in this green water pump that's going to pump water into the tray on tabletop. We're drilling a hole onto the large tray on tabletop. Like I mentioned before, this is where the water will go in and drain out. We haven't shown it in this video, but we're also going to get a timer so that water is going to go in a certain period of time and then get drained out a certain period of time. This way, the seed will get enough aeration and because the water is always moving, we will also have less chance of mold. This is the attachment for ebb and flow hydroponic model. We actually got a lot of the hydroponic equipment from a local hydroponic shop. They were actually very nice to give us a discount. I'll make sure to link the hydroponic shop that we went to in Las Vegas. So if you guys are interested, um, feel free to click the link below. After staring at the tabletop for a long time, we've decided to paint the inside as well. Once staining is done, we're trying to fit the tube onto the tray, cutting the tube into the right size. Then we're sliding in the water bucket so that we can put the tubes inside, connecting it to the water pump. Now that the grass field is pretty much ready, we need to figure out how to get the girls to access the grass field. We actually, we actually ran out of the wood, so we are going to use the cardboard boxes to make the ramp. First, we have to make sure that it doesn't fall with the weight of guinea pig. We are going to put side walls so that they don't fall over or anything. Because the cardboard itself is pretty slippery, we are ripping out the external layer of the cardboard piece so that there's some traction. Eventually, we're going to upgrade the ramp to something more permanent. But for now, since we're using cardboard, this is what we're going to do. Now we're gluing the popsicle stick onto the bottom of the stair as a reinforcement. So what we're going to do with the stair is since two out of three grass fields are going to grow while one is going to be consumed by the girls, we're going to have the stair connect to one of the grass fields at a time. So we're just going to move the stair whenever another grass field is ready. Okay, now it's pretty much finished. It looks so beautiful next video is most likely going to be us testing with water and getting the medium for the seed to grow on and getting the seeds uh, waiting for it to grow and maybe the week after the plan would be to seed the seeds 
grow into grass fully so that we can all see peanut tofu and dumpling enjoy the grass thank you everyone for watching this episode three stay tuned for episode four we're going to have the hydroponic indoor grass field video thursday 12 p.m pst next week see you guys bye